If you're a Minnesota Vikings fan and like to collect memorabilia, have we got a deal for you. This summer, there is going to be an online auction for some unique and one-of-a-kind Viking souvenirs that you'll only find right here in Sioux Falls. If you bleed purple and gold, you'll be green with envy, looking at Tom Stridicke's Minnesota Vikings Museum. Vikings collection started actually with my dad, had a number of things that was a Viking fans from back in the 60s, and so as a kid in the late 60s, sort of followed him. A few years later, Stridicke began collecting memorabilia that's been on display at his Sioux Falls heating store for decades. The stuff that I acquired mostly was unique items. I mean, whether it be decanters from a Super Bowl back in the 70s or a pool cue from Jared Allen or helmets from uh, some of the players throughout the years and a lot of jerseys and signed autographs and cards and you name it, I have a lot of unique stuff here. The reason he's selling it is because he sold his business, so now it's got to go. Well, obviously I need a place to put it. My wife says it's not coming to her house. Obviously, I'm a lifelong Denver Bronco fan, but as a football fan, I have to admit, some of this stuff's pretty cool, not to mention worth a lot of money. Like this NFL football signed by every player on the original Minnesota Vikings team back in 1961. I do have a uh, picture of the coach from the first year. I do have a picture of the team when they played the Dallas Cowboys, their very first game in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. He also has autographed helmets from the Vikings Purple People Eaters defense. And Stridicke has a 1973 NFC Championship ring given to him by Hall of Fame running back Chuck Foreman. So what is a collection like this worth? Actually, I, I don't know that, but I do have a, there's a company in Minneapolis that does specialize in uh, Vikings memorabilia, and they're going to get everything certified and a uh, code of authenticities. And it'll be an online auction coming up sometime in July. Stridicke says that the Minnesota Vikings would like to have that 1961 autographed football for their own museum, but he hasn't decided yet if he wants to part with it. He hasn't selected an exact date for his online auction, but once we find out, We'll let you know.